In this video, we will look at how to improve the mesh of an FEA study, specifically when our model contains complex geometry. This is a steel cantilever beam with several holes and areas of discontinuous geometry. We will be using Autodesk, Nastra, and NCAD to run a simple cantilever bending test with one end fixed and a downward load acting on the free end. With the uniform global mesh, we see stress hotspots localized around the holes. One way to obtain a better stress distribution is by increasing the number of elements in the areas of stress concentration. We can use the mesh control dialog to specify the element size either by vertex, edge, surface, or in the case of assemblies, by part. Typically, we would use a relatively small local element size and a larger global element size. The idea is to ensure the mesh accurately represents the model geometry. When dealing with curved or other complex geometry, the project mid-side node setting in the mesh settings dialog is particularly useful. This setting may sometimes be preferred to local mesh control as it does not add to the element count and therefore does not increase the solve time. From the von Mises stress results, we can clearly see a better distribution of stress around the holes in the beam structure. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.